<laughs> Welcome back to Front of the Bench, everybody. As always, it's Eric, and today we're back, and we have more PLL parallel packs. So uh, I got the next batch of my order in. We're gonna we're gonna open up thirty on this episode, um, and then I got a bunch more that I'll open up. I'll, like I said, gonna try to keep these into like not doing a hundred at a time. How about that? <laughs> uh, so I, I did have three boxes show up. They're all different. One was a small box. It had two like this, which you guys will see. Um, just two packs like this, so 10 cards in one small box. It's kind of odd, um, but that's the way it was, I guess. Uh, then I had a big box that had another, uh, what was that, another 100, uh, what was that, another like 80 of those, like this, um, like 80 cards in total. And then I had, really weird, I had another one show up, and essentially it was one of these, with like two cards in it, except for there was 10 of them. So they're just like these cardboard envelopes that had two packs in them. Anyways, very weird, very random. I never had a card show up from Tops or anything like that. Um, like I said, the other package had 80 or had like a bunch of packs that were like the ones that are wrapped with the bubble wrap. Um, and they were in the same size box. Very weird. Uh, so anyways, here we go. We're going to get into this. Here are PLL Parallel. Uh, makeup packs, I guess. So, gonna get into all of them. I did just like kind of rip the top of them just so they're easier to rip. Uh, and here we go. So, first one out of the packs. So, these ones were the ones that showed up in. I'm trying to make this easier and then I'm having a hard time here. Uh, these ones are the ones that showed up, uh, the 10 together. Um, so, we're opening up those 10 first and then we'll move on from there. These are giving me all kinds of difficulties right now. So, here we go. We'll just. Rip it. There we go. Out of 99, Charlie Leonard for the Redwoods. Okay. Always good to rock my wet Redwoods. Uh, there we go. Charlie Leonard, face off rookie for the Redwoods. So we'll put him right there. Any good hits we get, uh, any certain players, uh, they'll get probably sleeved and top loaded depending on the parallel and everything else. Um, a 99, uh, Leonard's probably not it. This is going to be purple, so this is going to be a 75. Yeah, there we go. Continuing on with my uh, <laughs> Jake Carraway rainbow. I think I have the 50 and I have the 99 now. But there we go. Jake Carraway for the Atlas. These are sweet looking cards. Um, I love the parallel. So we'll, we'll throw up, uh, throw Jake up. I think he was like 10th overall in the draft last year. Another rookie card. Uh, yeah, 10th overall in the 2021 draft. So we'll put him up there too. I said I ripped them all just so I could like be easier. Uh, last time I was using the breaker knife to kind of open them all up. Uh, once again, I thought this would be a little bit quicker for the video where I'm doing 30 of them. So this one's going to be another purple parallel. This one's going to be at a 75. And this one we already actually have. Uh, Zach Courier. So there's a second Zach Courier out of 75. This one here is going to be number 40 out of 75. So once again, just like the uh, uh, the Rabel, the only time you're going to be able to hit a Zach Courier, jersey number will be a out of 99. Um, just because, obviously, if it's out of 75 is the closest parallel, his number is 77. Can't really hit that. So there'll be uh, one of those out there for everybody. Boom. Zach Courier. What a heck of a player. Like I said last time, like, you know you can, uh, you know you, what you need to, like, switch a, you know, turn a franchise around. Uh, I got like Zach Courier. That will do it for you. Uh, here we go. Next one up. So this is a 25. Looks like it's going to be, pretty sure I know who this is. Got a rookie. Out of 25. This one is going to be a Ryan Smith. This is 11 out of 25. What number is Ryan? 43. So not this, not, not a jersey number. But there we go. 11 out of 25. Rookie for the chaos. I like these greens. They're like... I, said, I think they did a really good job with like the parallels for these. Um, I, th I find like all the colors really like pop well. Then out of 99, I guess it's like a weird like neon yellow type of lime green type of color, but um, still pretty nice. So 
So pretty good start for this. Uh, he's out of 10. So here we go, another out of 99. Looks like it's going to be 33 out of 99. There we go. Jeff Teat. And that is a true rookie. That is not the uh, first team all pro. And when I say true rookie, so the first team all pro, I'd almost treat it almost as a parallel. This is like an actual rookie card, so there's nothing else on it other than just saying Jeff Teat attack, rookie card. There we go, number seven. So we're looking for the number seven. There's so lots of options to get the jersey number for him. But once again, heck of a card for a heck of a player. So we're going to put him uh, put him up. We're just going to drop down the Leonard. Oh, we'll display the, the Jeff Teat. There's one of these up for auction right now uh, up on eBay. I haven't checked it uh, since it first went up, but kind of wondering what that will go for. I said he's uh, lighting it up in the NLL, light, lit up in the PLL. So this is going to be out of 50. So this is blue. This is going to be a 47 out of 50. And this one's going to be, there we go. So he's going with back-to-back uh, -back first overall and then second overall in the draft. Michael Sowers. How is he centering on these? Same thing. I always bring up centering, but super, you know, top heavy on the back when you look at it that way, or it could be left to right, doesn't matter. Um, way more space on here than there is on that side. It's odd though, because like the front, and that's a weird thing, like the front of these are, a lot of them aren't too, too bad for centering. A little bit top to bottom, I guess, um, but the backs on them are always, always, always messed up. So we'll drop the Ryan down a little bit. We got TD back there. This is my out of 75 TD Ireland. I'm hoping to get a good parallel of him um, in the true rookie once again. I said the Michael Sowers is a true rookie. The Jeff Teed is a true rookie. And we'll keep it going here. So that's uh, two, <laughs> two Hackman players back to back. First and second overall for the rookies. I know Michael Sowers only played a couple of games uh, last year, but uh, see what he can do on like a full season. So this one's going to be another out of 99. So here we go. 57 out of 99. It's going to be a Jamie Tromboli for the Cannons. 57 out of 99. Not a jersey number once again. There we go. Number three, obviously fourth round so later later round draft pick uh i think there's only four rounds for the pll anyways michael sowers by the way i don't think i think he's number like 22 yeah i was gonna say pretty sure he's like 20 20 something but i don't really keep track of like obviously sowers really didn't play a whole lot last year so um i watched a couple highlights of him get some good dodges going on so this one looks like it's gonna be a pink yeah there we go a pink this one's gonna be a two out of 15. <laughs> I will take it. Um, wow. Two out of 15. Jeff Teat. What a card. I, I'm doing pretty good this round. Last one, I, last one I didn't do, do too bad either. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to take these, put them off to the side. I wasn't going to do much of a display, but uh, this time I got a reason to do a, whole, <laughs> a pretty decent display. Uh, background, before I forget, uh, we had a out of 50 Jack Rowlett, um, which, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Off ball lacks, uh, he might end up getting that one. He's a big uh, Jack Rowlett collector. Uh, and then we got a out of 10 Trevor Baptiste face off man extraordinaire. And then we had another face off man. My boy, TD Ireland uh, with the out of 75. So here we go. I kind of mixed this one up. I got caught on the edge. Uh, we had out of 75, 73 out of 75 for Nick Grill defense for the Chrome. It's another rookie card. We'll just put him off to the side. I realize I'm like almost 10 minutes into this, but uh, not going to try to upload everybody. Like I said, or, you know, sleeve, penny sleeve. Um, there we go. Last one from the first 10 that I got. Another purple. So we had a... This is really good. Um, so we had a 46. 
a 75. Got a Danny Logan. True rookie. I think there's a first or second all pro for Danny also. And there we go. Another rookie. The Atlas is showing up. We got a Jake Carraway, a, a couple of Jeff Teets here, and Danny Logan, number 91, so not a jersey number, but 46 out of 75 for Danny Logan. So that's a pretty that's a pretty good start. Sours, Teet, number time by two. Uh, yeah, not going to complain about that start. So here we go. Do off the next 20. We got another purple. Jeez Louise. So we got out of 75 again. Gonna be 25 out of 75. This is gonna be Jack Rowlett. <laughs> Literally just got talking about him. Um I think he might I might already have this one or not. I'll have to check. But uh Jack Rowlett for the chaos. 25 out of 75. Match the one out back there. So uh Jack Rowlett for the chaos on defense. He's number 99, so another one that we're waiting for, the uh, the yellow parallel to get him his jersey number. That's it. There's there's some guys that have a ton of these packs. Uh, a couple people just have like one or two or ten or whatever, but um, like I said the, the potential for these are, are pretty good because they are, I find they have been pretty random. Uh, another purple. Jeez Louise. We have 59 out of 75 for a Steven... Renews. Renfus? Renfus. Here we go. Number six. That's a 59. A 75. Rookie for the Cannons. Again, Mitty. If they plan on him taking over for uh, Paul Rabel. Fourth round pick. Finished third on the team with 25 points on his way to be named a Rookie of the Year finalist. So, yeah, that's probably who they're hoping is going to... Uh, jump in for for paul there so heck of a career for paul rabel but on to the young guys see what paul can do uh i kind of like that he's doing like the state of the league and he's kind of doing more stuff on his youtube channel i think that stuff's good too like it's never a bad thing for these guys and i think that's the good thing about the pll is they've always kind of pushed players having their own like ways of making money got an out of 50 so we got a 42 out of 50 Jeez Louise. Uh, Jake Carraway. Uh, this is, a, like I said, 42 out of 50. So still not a jersey number. I don't. There is a mark on this one. I see it right there. Kind of sucks, but uh, I can't remember if I pulled a blue one of him. I've pulled, like, three different parallels. I'm pretty sure I have the yellow. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I think it's just the, uh, maybe the pink one, maybe. I have to check. I can't remember anymore. I said I pulled. That's my fourth Jake Caraway card that I pulled uh, so far out of uh, what are we at now, like thirty packs, forty packs. Uh, so we had out of ninety nine. So it's a nineteen out of ninety nine. There he is, my boy TD Ireland, and the nineteen out of ninety nine. That's a true rookie. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm gonna kind of covet more than, like I said, the. Second team all pro. He's a monster. I said it, I think, last episode, too. Um, him, I think, if he's healthy in the playoffs, once again, that's I'm a salty Redwoods fan, uh, but I think they might, you know, beat the Whip Snakes if uh, if he's playing, you know, doing the face offs instead. So, see what we get here. This one's going to be uh, purple. So, out of 75, this one's upside down. So we're going to go Brian Costabile. I don't think I've pulled a parallel of him yet. Uh, this one is super off center, like top to bottom. You can kind of see there a lot more at the bottom. There is even a little bit of a thing at the bottom. Uh, but yeah, Brian Costabile, bottom heavy and left heavy. That's fine. Uh, the guy is, may have been the best, I guess, Grant Amen. He's probably the second best rookie from uh, the twenty from the championship series season. Um, you know, obviously Grant Amen probably takes the top spot for that, but he's uh, you know adding him with Jeff Teat and all these other guys like the Atlas are. 
Atlas are going to be a scary team to play for a long time, I think. So here we go. we got to turn this upside down again. These cards are upside down in the packs from the way that the other ones were. So here we go. Out of 75. This is 45 out of 75. For the Archers, Tom Schreiber. There's a heck of a card. You know, guy's just going to be one of the top players every year, right? I think he's was ranked second or third. The guy was just born to, you know, play with a lacrosse stick. That's that's the, is it about as easy as it is to say. Uh, what a monster! So here we go. Next pack. Let's see what we got here. Thank you guys for liking, watching. By the way, like I said, I got a lot more of these. If you do like lacrosse cards you like these openings make sure you like and subscribe if you like hockey there's probably been a bunch of hockey on here uh, i did all the series a bunch of series one uh updates so we got a blue now it's going the other way this time so we got a blue jeff trainer for the archers there we go jeff was a third round pick out of umass there we go jeff trainer for the archers out of 50, four out of 50. Boom. I said the blue parallel may be my favorite one. Uh, I still have yet to hit a one on one, which is fine. Uh, I've only hit one out of 10, and I uh, haven't hit anything rainbowed out of five. Okay, I'm trying to speak that into existence here. We'll find out in a second. No, this is going to be another blue. Uh, blue out of 50. This is going to be 33 out of 50. There we go. Ryan Terrafanko. So I actually like that. Um, cause I'm a Halifax Thunderbirds fan also. And that's where Ryan's playing this year. So 12th overall at Ohio State. The Ohio State, you know the rest. Um, speaking of Buck City Breaks. But that didn't stop anything. Nope. I just knocked off my mouse. Um, <laughs> Ryan Terrafanko. So that's actually a card I might try to, I'm trying to see if they actually do the, they were doing it before, obviously the world turned upside down. Uh, the Halifax Thunderbirds used to have it that you used to be able to go down and meet and greet with all the players and stuff and get stuff signed and stuff after the game. So there's a couple guys like him um, that I'm, I will hopefully maybe get down there and get some signatures from uh, on some of these cards. So uh, here's a 37 out of 50. It is a chaos. This is Josh Byrne. There we go. Can I get some focus here? There's a whole lot of shimmering going on here. So one off the jersey number. We got the 23. We were looking for the 22. Uh, just the guy, they kind of joke around. The guy is the uh, video game player out there. He just does some some moves out there that you'd only expect to kind of see, see in a video game. But Josh Byrne out of 50. So let's see what we get here. So if you guys haven't yet, make sure you check us out on uh, Twitter. Talk about some lacrosse on there. Uh, and then check us out on Instagram too. Uh, I'm not as active on there. But I'm going to try to get some more. But Twitter is definitely where I kind of talk more lacrosse stuff. And if you follow me, I'll follow you back. So uh, here we go. We got a out of 75. This is going to be the MVP, Blaze Reardon. This is going to be 8 out of 75. Blaze is what number? Zero. There is no chance of you getting Blaze Reardon's uh, jersey number. So I couldn't remember. I was, like, I was like, I'm pretty sure there's like, I thought it was like a, I remember I'm thinking like there's probably, I think it's rounded numbers, like a, an eight or a zero, but no, it's just a zero. So there we go. Blaze Reardon for the chaos. He was voted the top player in the, in the PLL last year. So not a bad player to get at all so next card up another so here we go That's upside down this time this is going to be a ryan tierney another rookie these are full of rookie cards by the way um ryan tierney attackman for the whip snakes number 11 so this is 42 out of 75 so not the jersey number once again but uh second round pick Hofstra. There we go. Ryan Tierney. This is a whole lot of cards, by the way. 
<laughs> I'm going to try to open up. Uh, I'm probably going to open up another probably 20 or 30 uh, for next episode. So make sure you guys watch that. Oh, this is our first out of five. Here we go. Whew. Come on. Be somebody good. So it looks like it's going to be... I can't tell. Whip snakes, maybe? Three out of five. It looks like a whip snakes color. <laughs> There's the card that everyone's talking about uh, from lacrosse Twitter. Uh, Zed Williams. Against my boys and the Redwoods. And the reason why everyone's talking about this card. What's what's that what's that thumb doing, Zed? Huh? 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 Not not holding the ball in, is it? Huh? <laughs> like of all like like it's almost like you wonder if like somebody is like wondering or you know, kinda just poking fun at it, but um there we go. Thirty six is the jersey number. So we got three out of five. That's close enough for thirty six. Um there we go. The first out of five we got, of course, it's the Whip Snakes, which breaks my heart personally uh, as a Redwoods fan. Also, today's jersey of the day is a looks like the guy that's probably guarding him in that picture. It's probably my boy Garrett Apple, and uh, Zed and the and and, and Rambo have definitely had some heartbreakers against me. Just like, come on, it's like why every time? Uh, this one's gonna be a purple. This one's gonna be. I just kind of showed it. This one's going to be, there we go, that first team all pro of Danny Logan. Like I said, we got the true base rookie earlier. There's the first team all pro. You know when you get two rookies that are first team all pros? You're doing something right. Boom. Out of 75. I'm going to try to go through these other ones a little bit faster. You don't realize, like, just having to slow roll all these. I guess I don't have to slow roll them, but... There we go. And Nick Gill, this one's going to be 28 out of 50. I think his number's 33. Is that what we figured out? No, number 8 is his number. So there we go. For the chrome. Boom. So there's a pile of cards beside me. And then I got a pile behind the camera. Um, yeah, so excited. I think there's like 90 some days, 96 days, 95 days till the. As I'm recording this till the Premier Lacrosse League season. This one's gonna be out of 99. This is gonna be Ryan Smith. Attack for the Chaos. Another rookie. Nothing against Ryan. We won't I'll get uh I'll get Ryan's sleeved up later, but try to get through these a little bit quicker. This one's gonna be it's the pink. This one's gonna be so out of 15, this is gonna be at 11. Jack Kilty, defense for the Cannons. Number 12 out of 15. There you go. Couldn't really see it in the thing. Boom. Short print of the rookie. Selected ninth overall out of Notre Dame. Jack Kilty. There we go. The, the PLL really could, like, expand to, like, 10 or 12 teams and I don't think you'd lose that much when it came to talent like there's so many good guys still that aren't playing or and so many good rookies coming in uh this one's gonna be out of 50 17 out of 50 excuse me uh, apparently doing my Zach Courier rainbow now not a bad guy to do a rainbow of uh first team all pro Zach Courier not too too bad so I've only seen uh, Michael Sauer seen one of him, one TD, two Jeff Heats, but different parallels. I'm not going to complain about it out of 15 for sure. Uh, this one's going to be out of 75. It's a 56 out of 75. This is Kyle Gallagher. So down to the last two packs. Once again, thank you guys for all for watching. If you watched all of this, I'm going to get on to it. Next one, out of 99. This one's going to be an Ethan Walker, rookie for the Water Dogs. I think him and Michael Sowers, there was a couple, uh, couple highlights last year. Some nice passes from uh, Michael Sowers all the way over to Mr. Ethan Walker. What has he taken? Uh, fourth round pick out of Denver. I think he might, uh, might squeeze in there and play pretty good. 
last pack. Like I said, next episode, probably do another 30. Uh, the only out of the 140 I ordered, uh, originally the original packs, for the parallel packs, uh, I'm only missing 10. So I've got everything else in. I'm just, I've got 130 of my 140 packs, parallel packs in. So I'll open up as many as I can. This one's going to be upside down, of course. Throw me off for the last one. 97 out of 99. This is going to be Adam Gittleman. There you go. 97 out of 99. And that is going to end it. I think Adam actually just... Did he just retire? One of the Archer River goalies retired. I think it might have been Adam Gittleman. Say how long he's been doing it. Doesn't. So I think he just retired. I remember, I'm pretty sure it was one of the Archer uh, goalies that just retired. So uh, shout out to him. What a way to finish it then, right? Get your own private shout out at the end of the video. So uh, like I said, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And for Eric in front of the bench, catch you guys next time. Bye guys.